Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another uh, tutorial using Design Spark Mechanical. And in today's video, I'm going to be modeling a part using the pull and revolve feature. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I'm going to be drawing here. All right, this is the part I'm going to be modeling up today. And at first glance, it looks like it might be a little difficult to draw, but it's really very easy. Uh, because uh, you don't really have to draw much of it all when you're using that pull and revolve feature. Let me scroll on down here and you can see that this is the sketch I'm going to use. Not a whole lot to it, but uh, we're going to be drawing this today. And if you want to follow along, you can use the link to this PDF file down in the video description. You can uh, download this file and follow right along with me and, and draw this sketch and create this um, model using the pull revolve feature. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my Design Spark Mechanical open over here. So let's start off and go File, New, Design. And we'll hit the Plan View to get a straight on look at it. And also, I'm going to want to uh, change this uh, Design Spark option here and make this into go to Units and make this uh, metric because the sketch that I'm uh, going to use for this exercise is in millimeters. So it'll do just this document here in millimeters. All right, let me, I'm going to try to keep it centered over here so that you can see it good. Um, all right, let's take a look at that sketch again. And we're going to need to start off here with the line command. And we'll come over here to the origin and we want to come over here to the right and we'll hit the space bar and type in 20 millimeters and we want to come from there and come up and hit the space bar again and type in 20 millimeters again and we want to come to the end of that line and come over to the left and hit the space bar again, and that one will be five millimeters. And then we will grab the end of this line and come up and hit the space bar and type in 25 millimeters. Again, I'm going to try to keep this over here where you can see it good. All right, now let's continue on with the line command, and we'll come out this way. Uh, hit the space bar and that dimension we're going to need uh, 20 millimeters and then we're going to come straight up again five millimeters there and now across the top the dimension is 50 millimeters so let's come over here hit the space bar type in 50 millimeters Bring this back down to five millimeters. And you see how when I bring this down, it will bring that line across to show that I am um, have the same length as a, another line. You see the other five millimeter line is green. So we'll just, oops, I hit the uh, space bar and moved it a little bit. So let me back that up here and start over here. Let's start here, come straight down and there we go, five millimeters right there. Now we're going to come in back in this way, hit the space bar, and it was uh, 20 millimeters there. And we need to come straight down, and again, we'll bring it down uh, right to there, I think. Yeah, 20, we'll put in 25. And we're going to come out here. Uh, five millimeters and then we'll grab that point and come straight down back to the origin and we'll put uh, 20 millimeters so there we go there's our sketch now like we did last week let's uh, hit our uh, dimension tool and put a few dimensions on here to make sure we've got this correct and I think uh, 
once again, I'm going to have to uh, try to drop this down a little bit. Yeah, we'll make these dimensions a little smaller. Okay, let's measure across the bottom here. We've got 20 millimeters. We've got 20 millimeters there. And from right here to right here, we've got 25 millimeters. And here we've got 5 millimeters. And of course, right here, we had 10 millimeters. So that's all the dimensions that were on our sketch uh, that we're using to draw this from. So we are all finished there. And now that we've checked our dimensions and know this is right, we can hit the 3D mode right here. Again, if we want to turn off those dimensions, we can come over here to the annotation plane and just click that off. Okay, now I'm going to hit a home view. And now is when we're going to put the pull and revolve on it. So we're going to hit the pull. We'll hit, well, we'll actually hit select, highlight this surface. Then we want to hit the pull. And then as you look right here, this menu that pops up after you hit the pull command, we're going to hit revolve. And what we want to do is come down here right to this line here at the bottom and hit that. And then as we pull this, you can see that it's going to rotate that around and we'll hit the space bar and type in 270. If we want 270 degrees worth. And let me get this back out here where you can see it good. Okay, let me turn around this way. There we go. So there is our part. Now, one thing you may have noticed when you were drawing that sketch is that it does have a center line going down the center of that sketch. So last week, if you watched the one uh, just a couple of days ago that I did, I showed how to use the a center line as a mirror uh, line feature. So let's go and create another drawing and we'll use the same sketch, only we'll use the mirror line with it. So let's come down here and hit new design. We'll hit uh, the plan view to get a straight on look at it here. And then I'm also going to have to go back. And again, because since I have mine set up in default, for imperial every time it's going to start off in imperial so i'm going to come switch this back to metric because this is how i want to draw this part and then we'll click ok now let me get this scooted over here a little bit now let's use a a mirror line to draw this same sketch and this time i'm going to hit my line and i'm going to come right here i'm going to bring this up straight up and hit the space bar and then I'm going to put 50 and make that 50 millimeters. Okay and now if you remember from uh, the last lesson we'll highlight this line right here and then right click and then we're going to come over here to this menu that pops out and the first thing on top says set as mirror line so we're going to set that as a mirror line and now we can use that line command and look at our sketch and before we were drawing 20 millimeters but this time we just need to draw 10 millimeters so we'll come out here and hit our space bar then and we're going to come up here and come straight up and hit our space bar and hit 20. and we will come over this way to the left and hit our space bar again and put five. And then we will come up here, go straight up and hit the space bar and then enter 25. Now we can come out here to the right again, hit the space bar and type 20. Now we just need to come up here five millimeters right here and then from that line come right back over to the center line 
And once again, just by making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines, we've created that whole sketch by using the mirror line feature. So that's uh, probably really the best way to do it. I was just showing you the other way uh, to show that there is more than one way to draw the same sketch. It doesn't hurt to draw it that way, but this way is probably a little easier and a little quicker. And again, we can uh, come over here to our dimension uh, tool and we can, we'll have to do it a little bit different now since we were using the mirror line we'll, to get the overall width. We'll hit here and then here, come up here and that's 50. Uh, we can come here and here and we've got the 10 millimeters. We can grab this line here and see that we were five millimeters. We can come here and here. There's our 25 millimeters. And here is our 20 millimeters. And then again, we'll have to hit from this line to this line to get the overall of that base. And there's 20 millimeters. So now that we've got that done, we can come back up here and hit the 3D mode uh, button again. And then we'll come over here and we'll turn off that annotation plane to get those uh, out of the way. And we can also hit the one that says curves and that will get rid of our uh, center line. Then we can hit home, hit select, highlight the face there, hit pull. And then as it drops down that menu, we'll hit the revolve and then we'll come down here and hit this line here. And that's the line we want to revolve around. So we'll come around, just start it moving and then we can hit the space bar and type 270 degrees and then hit select again. And there we have it. to get this over here a little better where you can see it good there we go all right so really what you what you're noticing is as we do this pull and revolve we're not the sketch is really easy to make because we're basically doing this t-shape feature to create this whole shape so you basically when you're trying to draw something that's going to be round and you want to use the revolve you would just kind of picture it as a cross-sectional view and uh, just drop, make that your sketch, and then you can use the revolve to uh, to complete the part. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you got something out of this, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, and want to make sure you follow along with these little exercises in Design Spark Mechanical, be sure and hit the subscribe button, and also make sure you. Hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. But until the next time, thank you very much for watching.